hi welcome back to the channel um, this uh, video is all about uh, replacing the foam in the back quarter lining panel here all of this foam you know up in the headlining here is all gone crunchy and horrible it's all coming out so eventually I have to do the whole of the headlining um, at the moment I'm just going to do this this back panel and then at the end um, I'm just trying, I've had some problems mounting the new seat belts so you'll see me uh, mounting that new belt I had to make a bracket for that Hopefully you enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and like. There's the quarter panel off the uh, right hand side. As you can see, all the um, all of this is all um, it's all come up, up debonded from the uh, from the fibre last backing. But also, I take all this off. And you can see that all the foam has all gone brittle. It's all crumbling away. So I've got to take all that off. Scrape all that. I've got some new foam, and I put that on. And somehow I'm going to try and clean up this uh, this lining here. Uh, I did the other side with sort of detergent and stuff, and it came up reasonably well. But I'm not sure about this staining whether that's going to come out or not. But hopefully it will. So I'm going to try and steam that off in the steamer. See if that takes it off. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's probably a combination of sort of nicotine, water damage, and dirt, and some of this this red foam stuff. Anyway, that's today's job. So I'm going to start by trying to get some of this foam off. So I think I'm going to use this hoover and see if I can just... It's very friable, this stuff. So I think I can just place hoover, scrape and hoover at the same time. Hoover got most of it off. Um, so I'm just going to wire brush the rest of it and get any of the last bits off. Still some of the old adhesive you can see there. This is a bit obviously going to come off, so I won't worry about that too much. Well, let's give a steamer a go. I think it's moving, moving some of it. It's definitely coming off. Well, I've cleaned it up and as you see it's not brilliant um, there's still quite a lot of stains all on this edge but if you look on the other side you can see that I think it's where the original adhesive has been and that's obviously gone through and it's discoloured with time so I don't think there's much I can do about that anyway so I'm going to go with it as it is it's better than it was but it's um, um, still not quite quite good um, I bought this foam and this upholstery foam half an inch thick it's the soft stuff, so the idea is I'm going to uh, spray. I'm going to spray all this with this contact adhesive um, and the back of the foam. I'm going to stick it on in the bit that is like there, and then I shall trim it up. Should trim it up afterwards. I think that's probably going to be the easiest bit to do. Actually, I might take some of the bulk off of this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So with a sharpie. I want to cut this too short, so I think that will do. I don't want to get glue on the uh, on the fabric, so I'm going to mask this off.
and the foam's going to go on that way so the foam needs to be sprayed on this side let's cover that up I'm going to wait for that to dry a bit and then uh, when it's dry, you can press it on. Well, I think that's dry enough now, so uh, I'm going to carefully stick this onto here. Well, I'll let that dry for a while. Right, I'm going to trim this down. It's dried off, so I'm going to trim it down. I'm just going to mark the edge so that if it peels off, I know where to cut. You can see it's adhered quite well, um, even around the edges here. So I'll put some more glue on that when I wrap the fabric round. So now I'm going to stretch this round, round here. Although that doesn't really want to go around. I don't know whether I'm supposed to cut the foam off. I think the foam there is stopped at the edge. And then that just... Well, let's pull it up. Maybe it's just need pulling up a bit more. Yeah, I think it just needs pulling up. It's quite lumpy there. I think I'm going to have to trim some of that off. See so that? That's all very... Very bulging. I'm just taking the edge off. I don't think I need to do it back down here. I think it's um, it's pulling around there, all right. And that hole I need to go. Actually, let's make that hole. So that will go around there like that. Then I'm going to take the foam off the actual edge edge. I think this foam's too. I think this foam's too thick. It's not. It, you know, I can't pull this round enough. So I'm going to take. I'm going to take some of it off. It's a bit hard to tell from the old one whether there was foam here or not, but. I'd, definitely obviously glue there but not foam so let's take this off I'll take it that's better you can see the you can see that I don't know if you can see it on the video there but you can see the crease the original crease mark where it went over the edge of the fiberglass there, like that. Right, I think I do that, and I think I need to do the same down here. As you can see, that it needs to be much further over there. Right, let's do that.
that's better, I like that. Well, I'm gonna glue this in sections. I've been fiddling around with it and I think the best thing to do is to, is to stick this side here and this side first, probably this bit first, stretch it, clamp it and let that glue and then dry, let the glue dry and then I'll, then I'll sort out this bit. I'm going to use um, Evo stick, contact adhesive for this, I think it needs to be a bit strong, I'm not sure how strong that um, surface spray on glue is. <laughs> Right, it's now touch dry, so let's have a go at stretching this. quite well. I think I'll leave that for a few hours and then sort out the, uh, the other bit, this bit down here. But the rest of that looks pretty good. You, can, you can't see that can you? It looks pretty good. I think I'll just tidy up that edge. I can put some glue on that. Well, the problem with uh, mounting a new seat belt is the um, the wheel has got this lump sitting on the side. Now on the other side it was sort of fairly that way around, but it's not, not upside down. It's got to be installed this way because the belts rub across the top here. But if you see, you can sort of see that the hole, this hole, see the hole, this hole, um, and doesn't line up with that hole in the belt. The belt. 
fouling on the side of the bodywork there, so the whole thing needs to come across a bit. So what I've done is I've made up the um, plate, which will go in there, and that offsets the um, hole by about, about half an inch, something like that. Not much. Um, so anyway, bolt that on now. And there it is mounted up. So that worked well. There's another clearance on the side. Just need to get this back quarter in now and um, the job's done. All right, there's the side panel back in, seat belts in. Um, I've got a question for you guys out there. Anybody know whether there's supposed to be some sort of trim that goes in here? Um, there's nothing, nothing there. These flappy bits aren't long enough to stick back underneath, so I think there must have been something originally. Or maybe it was just like a letterbox design. I don't know, it's the same, it's the same on the other side. Um, so if you can shed some light on it, it would be very grateful. So if you could leave a comment or so comment in the comments section below, that'd be great. Anyway, so that's all the back seats and everything finally in. Well, that's the interior back together by and large. Just going to put the uh, gear lever gaiters on, which I'll do once I know the gearbox is working okay, and I'll zip that all up. Um, if you're going to Beaulieu this weekend, um, if you see me, say hello. I'd be good to see some of you. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.